I would like to take the opportunity to invite Professor Ziauddin Shakib Sahab to kindly address. Respected Chairman, Professor Muhammad Mia, His Excellency Akai Muhammad Safari, Honorable Council General of Islamic Republic of Iran, Sri Ahmadullah, I think he, he left, <coughs> and my senior colleague, Dr. Professor M. M. Taki Khan, and our guest, Sri Mr. Prabhakar Reddy, and <coughs> Professor Muhammad Hussain Karimi, Dr. Aziz Fatima. A seminar is generally organized to make people think about certain point. And this seminar is making us to think about a certain aspect of our social, sociological problem. The topic sounds very scientific, science, technology, development, and justice. And I think Professor Taki Khan has done justice with the topic in a very broad way and in very lucid uh, language. <coughs> I have just a few points to offer on these things because this, we are not going to approach to this topic as scientists, I'm not a scientist, but we are the consumers, we are the users of science and technology, and for us, this is a sociological issue. And the sociological issue is not the realm of the sociologist only, but each one of us feels the changes in the society and which we enjoy, and at some point, we suffer these things. Science and technology, uh, on one point, I, I doubt that we can control science or we can control technology, and we cannot apply uh, ethical principles to these things. These are the free areas. Scientists are at liberty to investigate and disclose <coughs> the, the, the secrets of nature, and this will go on. And I don't think there is anything to put a plug onto that. And same with the technology. Technology, of course, relates to some extent uh, with the ethical area, because te technology is related with commerce and the industrial world comes into that, and there could be bad use of a scientific thing and a good use, as the example was given about the nuclear energy. So far, we have not seen any good use of nuclear energy. It has been a very bad uh, impact on our psychology for the last 40, 50 years, and even now, it is having an impact on our mind, and the future is very much threatened with the spread of uh, nuclear power with the small countries. <coughs> so and no ethics can control these issues because we can say that the nuclear energy is a bad thing, but when we need to defend ourselves, it is a good thing. We will adopt it. So I don't think uh, this really is an issue, of, uh, issue which, which, which can be controlled by ethical debates or things. Ethics is not for the preaching of others. It is to be adopted by ourselves. And so is the principle of justice, which, as Dr. Taki Khan explained, is a very import important pillar of Islamic teaching, particularly in the Imamite tradition. And in Iran, the concept of justice has got a very great importance, and that has to be practiced by ourselves. We can't request in, poli in the political world to be just with us. It is just an idiom. Politics goes with power and it will go. The main issue in the whole thing is actually the issue of values. When the things develop with, along with the technological development, values change. And the value issue is very much important as I see when I'm in India. I know it becomes very important. And when I'm in the West, I don't see the value issue has got any importance there. Scientific seminars are just the scientific seminars. And the material truth is the truth, and the things change. People change themselves without any complaint. But it is, this is the East, 
and that I am proud of being from East, that East does not want to change so blindly under the material changes as the West is ready to do that. And the value issue is always there. And along with the value, there is another thing, which is the memory. Our education system is producing generations for the last more than 50 or 60 years, and gen generations without memory. And, and as the time goes on, we are having children which have no memory of the past, no uh, understanding of history. Even in Engl England, where I live, a, a school child does not know who is Shakespeare, who was Wordsworth. Even the students of literature have never heard the name of college and study because things are becoming very specialized and the, in education, we are living memory. And it is a very technical issue. I think Professor Mohammad Mia, as an educationist, he may shed light on that, that our losing memory and our, the, our issue of the conservation of values, how it can be resolved in the changing world. It is, it is there in our poetry, in our literature, in our fiction. Jigar Murazabadi has beautifully said, kahan se ke pahunche hain, kahan tak ilm fan saqi, magar asuda insa ka na tan saqi, na man saqi. It is a very good criticism, but this type of poetry we won't see in the West. It is there in the East. And, the, and in this way, I think Iran is uh, uh, oriental world has to take a list, uh, uh, lead. Hindustan is taking a lead. Hindustan is trying to stand to the moral standards and conserve the values and the memory to some extent, but not so strongly, but as it is being done in Iran. And these things, I think this, this sort of seminar are very important to remind us of these facts. And I hope the outcome will be something very promising. Thank you very much. His Excellency Agha Mahmoud Safadi Saab, Consul General of Islamic Republic of Iran, I request His Excellency Mr. Mahmoud Safari to address the gathering. In the name of Allah, Professor Mohammad Miam, Honorable Vice Chancellor, Molana Azad Urdu University. And Excellency Prabhakar Reddy, President of Iran Friends Society. And Professor Aziz Banu, and Professor uh, Taghi Khan, and Professor Ziauddin Ahmad. And Professor, and my dear, Mr. Professor Mohammed Hussein Karim. I enjoy your speech. Your speech, the same of electoral speech. <laughs> Thank you very much. At the outside, let me, let me welcome you all to this international conference as we have gathered here to study the impact of science and technology on development and justice. When we try to match those two subjects which sound irrelevant to a common man as what, what science and technology has to do with the development and justice. Let me elaborate it, this for you. During the last decade of previous century, which coincides with the end of millennium, we, can, we came across a lot of development in the scientist, scientific sphere, and hence through its technology, we were able to produce some electable results. Heading toward the improvement of tools and apparatus as the field of communication, as a result, the world has turned into the global village. But unfortunately, in spite of all process and progress, made in the field of science and technology, still human society in all, of, in all the country are ter, uh, treated with the prejudice and inequality. Prejudicial treatment is not only method inside the country, but also 
at the international level among some of country. While the aim achieving this, uh, this success is the proud and opportunity to freedom, justice, and welfare of the humanity at large. If we try to negotiate science and technology in the positive state way, it will lead to a sustainable development and justice. The pros and coins of science and technology regarding the social norms and moral of family lead to fundamental interaction as well as formation of the individualist personality which forms a cozy family milieu. Moreover, psychological, educational, communicational, and ethical impacts on the families should also be considered toward its goal, the justice, to justice. Today I am happy that all the research and the scholars have gathered has to study of impact science and technology in the real sense on the sustainable development, justice, sociology, ag uh, agriculture, civil, electronic, law, media, and news, art and business, and various other fields. I wish all of success for this conference and also thank the organizers, especially Professor Mohammed Miam, Honorable Vice Chancellor for this esteemed university for taking the initiatives and accepting my proposal to hold this conference. I am sure this conference will have its long-term impact for the years to come and will be remembered by one and all. I conclude with the couple in Persian which say, درخت تو گربار دانش بگیرد به زیر آوری چرخ نیلوفری را. متشکرم.